Hi, I'm Laura Houston, and welcome to a bonus episode of Simple Art at Home. Today we're going to talk about animal adaptations. Now, when I think about animal adaptations, I often think of chameleons right here. And a lot of people know chameleons because they change their body color. And oftentimes, animals who do this in the wild are using camouflage. And camouflage is a way that animals help themselves to survive because it allows them to hide from predators. But what some people don't know is that chameleons also change their skin color for other reasons. Um, they may use it to control their body temperature and they can also change their skin color to attract a mate. So today's art project is going to be about chameleons. So um, I hope you would like to join me and draw along with me or just watch and have fun and learn along the way. So I'm gonna go ahead over to the table. So here I've sketched out a very um, light sketch of a chameleon and I'm going to go over it darker with a pen so that you can see it. And if you'd like to sketch along with me, go ahead and grab yourself a pencil and a piece of paper. You're also going to need a black pen uh, to outline with and something to color with. And something to color with can be crayons or colored pencils or watercolors or anything that you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the head of the chameleon and I'm just going to take my pen along this way. Chameleons have a pointed shaped head. This one's more of a, of a uh, cartoon style chameleon, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna put his eye right about here, and I'm going to leave like a little moon shape cut out right there on his eye, and I think I will color this this pupil part um, black, I'll color it all in black. Now, when you are coloring your chameleon today, you can color it um, any color that you'd like. I am going to actually do a little fun activity where he blends in with his environment behind him. Because as I said before, chameleons don't always use camouflage to hide, but sometimes they do. Let's put a mouth on him, like a little cheek right there. Just kind of like a little smiley mouth, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and sketch along his, his back right here, down through his tail. So I'm gonna just turn my paper here. I'm going to actually outline him later with a bold, uh, thicker black Sharpie. Chameleons have these long tails that curl. So the way that chameleons change their color is they have special cells in their skin. And I believe these cells are called chromatophores and they also have these different layers of skin with these special cells that allow them to change color and you know since they are cold-blooded the color change helps them so for example if if they they can turn themselves to a darker color and um, sit in the sun and it will help them absorb more heat from the sun. And then the opposite, if they, um, they can turn themselves a little um, pale color if they want to reflect the light from the sun. And then chameleons can also change to bright colors to attract a mate, which is key to survival of the species in the wild. I used to think that chameleons only changed
color to camouflage, but I learned something new. I bet you already knew all this information. Okay, so I'm almost finished with this back leg, and I'm gonna point out a couple things to you. So notice here, his belly is behind these two legs. So I didn't draw that line across the front. Um, and then here, these legs are on the other side of his body, so the line of his belly shows, and that's how you show the legs that are close and then legs that are far away. So now what I'm gonna do is add some scales down his back area. And I think that I'm just gonna go ahead, so I don't have to do it twice, I'm gonna do these scales with the thicker Sharpie. And then as I get farther down his back, I'm gonna make these little bumps smaller. I'm gonna stop about right here. Okay, so now I'm going to outline just the exterior line. Like, I, I wanna call it a perimeter, but it's not really the perimeter. Just the outside line, because I'm gonna have some fun with the background. This is going to be a painting, and I only want the outside line outlined in thicker Sharpie because I want him to stand out. See how I'm doing that? Only the outside. Right there. It's okay, notice how I'm turning the paper upside down? It's okay to do that when you're drawing because sometimes it's easier to get your lines drawn if the paper's turned a specific direction. I'll try to move my hand out of the way often so you can see what I'm doing. So notice this, this pattern of just outlining the exterior. So other animals in the wild will camouflage so that they can hide from their predators. And I think it's pretty amazing. And I think it's smart too. Okay, I'm almost done with this exterior. Okay, so now we have just the outside highlighted. And now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna draw in a background, maybe some little bushes here like this. Just going to show that, you know, he's in some type of wild environment. Maybe some little grasses or plants. And then I'm going to have some lines go through here because I'm going to paint all of these sections a different color. And I'm going to draw lines onto our chameleon here as well because I'm going to try to demonstrate the idea of camouflage. So I'm just putting some different lines through here. You know, when you're doing this project, you can choose, you know, any animal that you want. Maybe do a little research and look up, you know, ways that, um, or look up different animals that, that do use camouflage to hide. Because you might want to draw a different animal than what I'm doing. Okay, so I have all these different sections here, and now I'm going to paint. You can use anything that you like to color with, but I'm going to just demonstrate the idea of camouflage uh, with using different shades of green, and hopefully
hopefully we will still be able to see our chameleon. So I'm just going to start and I'll be painting our chameleon and I will also paint the background just to kind of show the idea of camouflage. And I'm going to use all different shades of green. I think <laughs> the chameleon's turning out pretty cute. Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot, that's gonna be a different area. Let's see, how about, I'll do this green right here. I almost forgot. try just because it might work I'm going to try adding in a brown color as well and see how the brown works um, chameleons can turn amazing colors anywhere from purples to, to blues and teals quite it's just an amazing ability and I know a lot of ocean creatures do the same thing. They have all these wild colors. Okay, I'm gonna start filling in the background as well. How about this right here? Let's see if this plan works. Never done this before. I think I'll do all of these scales the same color green. You know, when you're painting, if you're doing a chameleon also, if you're creating a chameleon, um, you can use any color that you want to. I'll do a little blue right here on the white part of the eye to kind of show, have the white stand out. I'm gonna try using a larger brush since I have more area to cover. So you can use larger brushes when you have more space to paint and then you want to get out your smaller brushes when you have smaller areas but this way I can cover more paper faster so by using these colors if a chameleon was wanting to hide from predators he would be able to Camouflage is one way that animals hide. And as I've discussed, chameleons change colors for all quite a few different reasons.
Okay, so I think I have finished this artwork. Our little chameleon is blending into his environment. And the way that I did this is that I made sure I used the same colors on his body and I used the same colors on the area all around his body. And notice that I, I used the thick Sharpie pen to outline just the exterior lines on his body. So um, this would be an example how a chameleon would hide. I will meet you back up at the easel. So we learned today that animals have all different kinds of adaptations and chameleons can not only camouflage in order to hide but they also can change their skin color to uh, regulate their body temperature or to attract a mate in the wild. So this is just one example of an animal adaptation. I hope you enjoyed following along with me today. Bye-bye.